in this third episode of my lecture series on journalizing transactions of merchandising business, we will start actual preparation of journal entries. For that purpose, it will do you much good to be reminded of the following. First, you have to always keep in mind the business organization from whose perspective or viewpoint you are preparing the journal entries. After reading a transaction, ask yourself, from the organization's viewpoint, what did it receive? What did it give up? Or, what account increased? What account decreased? Then, recall the normal balance of each account affected by the transaction and apply it to know whether to debit or credit the account. Having said that, let's begin. Sakao Hardware Store sells on account with term of 2 over 10 and over 30. From this sentence, we know that we are on the perspective of Sakao Hardware Store. Journalize the following transactions. July 5. Sold merchandise on account to Mortel Construction Company at an invoice price of 250,000 pesos. So, Sakao Hardware Store, from whose viewpoint we must record the transaction, sold merchandise. From the word sold, what account of Sakao increased? The sales account. What is the normal balance or increased side of sales? Credit. Therefore, we must credit sales. Notice the sales account is indented or written further to the right because it is credited. For how much? 250000 For selling merchandise, what did Sakao receive? Did the business receive cash? No. Because it says here, on account. Therefore, instead of debiting cash, we must debit what? Accounts receivable. Also for 250000 And please note, the accounts receivable is not indented. So it is not written in line with this indented sales account because the accounts receivable is debited. For the explanation, just write a short description of the purpose of the journal entry to record a sale on account. Next transaction, July 8. Sold merchandise on account to Castro Company at an invoice price of 340,000 pesos. This one is similar to the previous transaction. From the word sold, we know that Sakao Hardware Store is again the seller here. So Sakao must record an increase in its sales account by crediting it for the invoice price of 340,000. What then must be the debit? Sold merchandise on account to Castro Company. Therefore, debit accounts receivable. Also for 340,000. Explanation. To record a sale on account. July 10. Castro Company returned 20,000 pesos worth of unsatisfactory merchandise, which was credited to its account. Please be reminded that we are on the point of view of Sakao Hardware Store, not of Castro Company. Also, recall that Sakao had a previous transaction with Castro Company, and that was on July 8. When Sakao sold merchandise 
own account to Castro Company. Castro Company is the buyer or purchaser, while Sakao is the seller. Now, here, on July 10, Castro, the purchaser or buyer, returned to Sakao, the seller, part of the merchandise it previously purchased. From the point of view of Castro, the buyer or purchaser, this return is known as purchase return. While from the point of view of Sakao, the seller, the return is known as sales return. Again, from whose perspective do we record transactions? From Sakao's perspective. Therefore, we must record an increase in sales returns and allowances or in purchase returns and allowances. In sales returns and allowances. What must we do? To record an increase in sales returns and allowances. Normal balance of sales returns and allowances, debit. Because if sales has a normal balance or increased side of credit, then what we deduct from sales in the income statement, which is sales returns and allowances, as well as sales discounts, must have a normal balance of debit. So, debit, sales returns, and allowances. For how much? For 20,000. But what must be the credit? When Sakao sold merchandise to Castro Company on account, its accounts receivable increased, right? That's why we debited accounts receivable here. When Castro returned some of the merchandise Sakao had previously sold, what do you think happened to this accounts receivable of Sakao? It decreased. And to record the decrease, what must we do? We must credit it because accounts receivable is an asset and therefore its normal balance or increased side is debit. And hence, to decrease, we must Credit it. So, credit accounts receivable for the same amount of 20000 Explanation. To record return of goods or merchandise previously sold. Next transaction. July 16. Receive payment in full from Castro Company. When Sakao received payment from Castro, what account increased? From Sakao's perspective, the cash of Sakao increased. And what must we do to record an increase in cash? Debit cash. Because cash is an asset and the normal balance or increase side of an asset is debit. Upon collecting cash from Castro, is there any account of Sakao which decreased? Yes, there is. What account decreased? the accounts receivable. And how do we record a decrease in accounts receivable? Accounts receivable is an asset like cash. The normal balance or increase side of which is debit. So to decrease, we have to credit accounts receivable. The next question now is, by how much did the accounts receivable decrease? says here, receive payment in full. In other words, the entire balance of the accounts receivable of Sakao from Castro before this receipt of payment on July 16. Therefore, we need to go back to the previous transactions of Sakao with Castro Company and look at any debit or credit to accounts receivable. The first one was on July 8, where we debited accounts receivable in the amount of 340000 And then, another one was on July 10, where we credited accounts receivable for 20000 So, 340000 debit minus 20000 credit equals 320,000 balance of the accounts receivable before this transaction on July 16. 
since that 320,000 balance of accounts receivable was collected in full on July 16, then we must credit that entire amount to accounts receivable. But how much must be the crash here? Should it be 320,000 also? Remember the first sentence of the problem. Sakao Hardware Store sells on account with term of 2 over 10 and over 30. Upon every collection of accounts receivable, you must consider the credit term. In part 2 of this video series, I discussed in detail credit terms like this. So by now, most likely you know what this means. 2 over 10 and over 30. This means that the buyer is entitled to a 2% discount if it pays within 10 days from the invoice date or date of purchase. If it pays after the 10th day, it will get no discount. But whether it likes it or not, it has to pay within 30 days. The question is, when was the date of purchase? When did Castro Company purchase merchandise from Sakao? On July 8. When was the date of payment? July 16. Was the payment within the discount period of 10 days? Yes, because July 8 to July 16 is a period of only 8 days, right? That is 16 minus 8 equals 8 days. So, it's within the discount period of 10 days. Therefore, was Castro entitled to get a discount of 2%? Yes. If Castro was entitled to a discount, did Sakao receive cash amounting to 320000 which was the balance of the accounts receivable collected and credited here? Definitely not. If there was a discount, what kind of discount was that from Sakao's point of view? Sales discount. Because remember that with regards to its transactions with Castro, Sakao was the seller. Therefore, from Sakao's perspective, the discount was a sales discount. And how do we record an increase in sales discount? By debiting it. How many percent was the discount? Two percent. So, two percent or 0 0.02 in terms of decimal multiplied by this accounts receivable of 320,000 equals 6,400, the amount of the debit to sales discount. How about this cash? How much must be the debit? The discount was 2%, right? From that, how many percent of the accounts receivable was received by Sakao in the form of cash? 98%. That is 100% minus the 2% discount. So, 98% or 0.98 in terms of decimal multiplied by 320,000 equals 313,600. Or simply, 320,000 minus 6,400 equals the same amount of 313,600 because remember the total debit must equal the total credit in your journal entry then explain the purpose of the journal entry to record full collection net of discount net of discount meaning the sales discount was deducted from the accounts receivable to arrive at the cash collection. Next transaction, July 23. 
receive payment in full from Mortel Construction Company. Just from these words, receive payment. What do you think increased from the point of view of Sakao? The cash, of course. To record the increase in cash, debit cash. The important question is, why did Sakao receive payment from Mortel Construction Company? Did Sakao sell goods to Mortel on this date, July 23? No. So, we cannot credit sales here on this date, July 23. Because the sale did not occur on July 23. But again, the question, why did Sakao receive payment from Castro Company? Because there was a previous sale transaction with Mortel prior to July 23. And that was on July 5. Remember? Where we credited sales for 250,000 with a corresponding debit to accounts receivable because the sale was on account. After this first transaction, there was no other transaction with Mortel until this one on July 23 when Sakao received payment in full from Mortel Construction Company. Upon this receipt of payment in full, what do you think happened to the accounts receivable of Sakao from Mortel? It decreased. By how much? By the entire balance of 250000 To record the decrease in accounts receivable by the full amount of 250000 what must we do? Credit accounts receivable by 250000 How about the amount of the cash here? How much must be debited? Should it be 250000 also? Again, please take note of the term. 2 over 10, 10 over 30. The question is, is Mortel Construction Company entitled to this 2% cash discount? No. Why not? Because the date of purchase is July 5. While the date of payment is July 23. That is a period of how many days? 18 days. That is 23 minus 5 equals 18 days. 18 days is beyond the discount period of 10 days. So, Mortel is not entitled to this 2% cash discount. If that is the case, how much cash do you think was received by Sakao from Mortel on July 23? 250,000. So, David, 250,000 here for the cash received. Explanation now. To record full collection of account. In part 4 of this lecture series, we will continue with this problem of Sakao Hardware Store. Thank you for watching.